Hello guys, welcome back to Pause. Adam here and welcome back to World Discovery. So this is part number four uh, of our Epcot inspired world tour theme park um, that we are making since the release of the Planet Coaster World Fair Pack DLC. So in today's episode, as you can see right here, uh, we are putting in the first ride. So again, thank you ever so much to everybody um, who put in some suggestions in the previous videos in the comments. Please keep those coming. Um, but a few people mentioned a couple of ideas for rides that we could add um, in this American area. Uh, a few people said uh, maybe some kind of coaster on the boardwalk, um, an American Arrow coaster, uh, a few suggestions like that. Uh, I think someone suggested a log flume as well. Um, brilliant suggestions. Thank you ever so much for those. Um, they, I think some kind of log flume is going to be in this park somewhere. Um, however, I just didn't have the space uh, for it to be in this American area. Um, basically, we are sort of getting to the end of the American area here. It's not going to be a massive, massive area. Um, so we are getting to the end. Um, so this little space that I had near the water, like I mentioned in the last episode, originally I was going to do a sort of boardwalk kind of feel. Um, I, I don't think I just I, I chose not to do that. Basically, I don't think it's it would fit, and I just don't think the space is is really there for it. Um, so what I decided to do instead, as you can see here, is put in a carousel. Now I didn't want to just plonk it down, so what I decided to do. Um, I wanted to get a, a sort of traditional looking carousel um, and I did quite a bit of research on Google um, and most of the things I could find had this kind of two tiered roof uh, and there's nothing in the game that is anywhere near what I wanted to do um, so I thought I'd make my own um, so it is a bit tedious it took me quite a while and it, as you can see from the time lapse there's various different um, methods and uh, it goes for a few different alterations, but I'm happy with it, how it looks in the end, um, and it, I think it was worth the effort. Um, as I always mention in these videos, um, today's time lapse is a little bit shorter than the last couple, and that's just mainly due to time. Um, so you're probably looking at just under two hours worth of footage uh, in this video today, which is why it's a little bit shorter than the last episodes. Um, now, the main reason for that, um, I do work full time as well as obviously doing YouTube on the side um, and it's just been a bit hectic at work. Uh, the place I work, um, it's half term here in the UK, kids are off school uh, and I work at a sort of big tourist attraction so it's a bit man, a bit hectic at the moment so bear with me, I'm trying to get content out as quick as possible uh, but I don't want to rush it either, I want to still take my time, I want to still sit down for a good few hours and really put something I'm proud of out there and that's why I took my time with this roof to just, as you can see here that's the first tier at the top and I think it works quite well obviously I need to neaten it up a little bit which we do as we get down there and then it's sort of the next tier down stretches out at a different angle and it just goes around in a circle to sort of finish it off uh, and like I said most um, reference images that I found follow this style um, so that's why I wanted to put this one in um, in terms of the rest of the American area then, so um, in this video we pretty much, well we finish off the carousel, uh, the queue goes in uh, and we do a bit of uh, planting around this whole uh, centre area here just inside the path, um, so that's pretty much done. Um, one thing I do need though is um, name suggestions for this carousel. Um, I think in the end, the holding name we go for uh, is just American Carousel. So, um, yeah, please let me know some um, name suggestions and we'll um, sort that out probably in the next episode. So, if you have any ideas what you can call this, uh, I was thinking like um, Washington Carousel or I don't know, something along those kind of lines. But like I said, I'm, I'm really rubbish at names. So, I'm sure you guys can come up with something really amazing. And so please, yeah, suggest stuff in the comments and I will pick my favourite one and we'll name it in the next episode. Um, so yeah, what else do we do other than the carousel then? And we do a little bit of work around the area and put a few more um, bits of permanent lighting in. Uh, and we also um, do a sort of bench and rubbish bin pass, so um, trash can pass uh, throughout the area. Um, again, to add those little utility bits that need putting in, that needs doing. Um, we just haven't had a chance just yet to do it. So that's what we're doing towards the end of today's video. Um, in terms of the American area then, um, probably 
half of the next video we'll just be putting in the finishing touches and um, there definitely is going to be an, at least another one if not two buildings um, sort of opposite where this carousel is in that last little bit of empty space and um, probably like I mentioned before going to be some kind of shop and restaurant um, to really get that kind of variety in here um, and then we're going to move on to the next area I'm like, at the moment I'm still a bit unsure what the next country is going to be um, so again if you've got any ideas or, or things you would like to see me tackle next let me know um, like I said the only uh, the only thing at the moment I know 100% is going to be um, opposite the main entrance is China and that's what we've uh, already established so China is going to be directly opposite the entrance as you walk in um, at, at the other side of the lake so we've still got maybe three more countries between America and China as we work around the lake um, so we need to start putting those in so like I said we'll probably start working on the next country uh, in the next episode as ideally I want to do sort of um, four to five episodes on each country um, obviously some are going to be more detailed than others um, mainly due to the sort of limitations in the pieces in the game um, and I know most people are probably thinking the American sort of theming set that was added in World's Fair I've not really touched um, and yes that is correct I haven't um, but it's I didn't want to do a sort of 50s diner um, so yeah I'm not going to put that in this area unfortunately um, I, I mean I might toy with the idea of trying to add some sort of diner-esque features to the the build I do next episode but I just don't think it'll fit um, but I will give it a go to see if we can try and get some of the new pieces uh, in the game uh, as, as ultimately that is the point of this series is to try and show off the World's Fair pack so I'll try and use some pieces if I can um, without making it look a bit too garish and one thing we do add into this little carousel build here, as you can see, is a few pieces from Vintage. Um, it, it suits the carousel quite well, and it does fit relatively well with uh, American, um, sort of classical American theme. Uh, and like I said, it kind of gives you that boardwalk feel, um, with the build, the roof, and these little uh, sort of details on the edge. Um, so it kind of is what I was going for without actually building the boardwalk itself. Um, so... Yeah, just taking a few little bits and pieces. Again, a few people have noticed in the comments that have mentioned uh, my geography sort of skill is, yeah, it's not amazing. So uh, I'm sorry to anybody if I do something that's a bit out of um, the culture or the architecture is slightly wrong or I get something not correct 100%. I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't claim to be an expert in that sort of thing. Uh, I'm just trying my hardest to make it look sort of classical American. Um, like I said I want it to be realistic rather than just being um, over the top. I mean, we could have done cowboys but that's a bit too obvious so that's why we're going a bit more classical. Um, like I say we'll, we'll, we'll have a bit more fun with some of the countries as we get down the line. Uh, Britain for example we're going to have a bit more fun with just because I'm British and I can put a few little quirks in that. Uh, China obviously is going to look quite beautiful given the fact that the uh, building set is amazing for China um, so there's a few good things to look forward to as well as a couple of little sort of filler countries here and there uh, but I still try and put as much effort in each of them as, as possible um, again thank you to the suggestions for some other big features around the uh, the park uh, someone suggested the uh, Eiffel Tower and the Leaning Tower of Pisa um, for sort of um, Italy and uh, and France and that kind of thing so again it's something I will bear in mind obviously building those things in this game will be quite difficult um, but I'm up for the challenge I'll give anything a go um, so hopefully um, we'll see something when we get to those countries uh, but again keep the suggestions coming down I, I really do uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to suggest stuff and, and give us your feedback and um, so please do carry on with that as I, I honestly I do read and, and, and interact with as many as I can so please keep that coming um, like I mentioned we do call it American Carousel awful name I know also Carousel America even worse um, so yeah please let me know if you've got any ideas what we can call this sticking with the theme um, and something ideally quite unique um, a few people mentioned well one person mentioned a few things uh, a few issues with the uh, planting in the last couple of episodes uh, that it looks a bit too messy um, is that a general feeling from everybody else? Let me know your, your thoughts on the planting 
Um, this American area, like I said, I wanted to go quite green, quite bush, uh, quite uh, full fl flower beds, which is why I've put quite a lot of the uh, the green bushes in there. Um, I can try and tidy it up a bit if, if people are thinking it's uh, a bit too messy. Um, like I said, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, this area, I wanted to be a, a little bit cleaner, which is why we've gone for the lower sort of um, thick grass look rather than using the green bush. And there's a couple of colours in there. I've gone for the reds to try and just sort of give the area a little bit of uh, distinction from the other side of the path. Uh, and again, make it look a bit more grand around the carousel. And I think it turns out quite nice, to be fair. Um, like I said, it's, it's nothing over the top. It is just something to look quite pretty as you're walking through, and mainly for the queue line of the carousel, really. Um, like I said there's not going to be many sort of high, uh, dist distracting rides around this park. Um, just sort of little things out in the open, like this one, for example, here. And, and what, f when we're sort of thinking down the line, which is the reason why I've put it in this location, um, when you're at the other end of the lake, looking over at America from, I don't know, Japan or whatever's going to be over there, um, you'll, all you'll see from a distance is a nice building, some planting, and at night you'll just see the lights of the carousel. Um, so nothing too distracting, it all suit together. And like I said, I keep going back to the fact that I am trying to keep everything in mind. There's a reason why I'm putting everything everywhere, um, and I don't want anything to sort of stand out too much, other than the big icons, but that's obviously part of the reason why they're there. I hope that makes sense. Um, I said... F I'm open to criticism and feedback. It's the only way we can improve this. So, if you, if, you, if there is anything you th you think we can improve on, let me know. Um, and again, massive thank you to everybody who has taken part in the giveaway. Um, for anyone who's unaware, we did run a uh, Planet Coaster um, World's Fair pack giveaway here on the channel. Apologies if you have this is the first time you're hearing about it. Um, but as of this video launching, um, that giveaway has now ended. Um, I believe it ended this morning at the time you're watching this video um, so the uh, winner will be announced on our social media and um, so make sure you follow us on Twitter uh, you can like the page on Facebook <coughs> pardon me sore throat um, and also keep an eye out in our discord server which um, not many people have joined so if you want to join it um, jump on and join that please um, all the info and socials are down in the comments uh, in the description below uh, but basically you just search for um, pause games YT uh, and then yeah the announcement will be made on there within due course anyway guys that's about it for today's video I hope you've enjoyed it and like I said it's a little bit shorter than the uh, the last couple but we'll get back into a full episode within uh, the next couple of days where we finish off the American area so for now guys thank you ever so much um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do to stay up to date with all the content don't forget to give the video a like and any questions queries comments or suggestions drop those down below and i'll try and answer every single one uh, but for now guys thank you ever so much and i'll see you in the next episode bye